Now this is a video of somebody called Mark. Um, he's known as Setsuna Angel 99, um, Super Mark Man, possibly some other aliases. But anyway, I'd like to explain what this video is about. Mark has challenged me to turn my back on my Christian faith for two weeks and to live a life of sin. And he said, if I do that, then he'll live as a Christian for two weeks. And we can both discuss our experiences at the end of this. Now, he's presented me with this challenge and asked me whether I accept or decline. Well, Mark, I'm going to have to decline, but I don't want to just leave it there. I'd like to explain why. Okay, so first of all, when you become a Christian, you are, your old nature, the one that you had before, the sin nature, is gone. Because, like Paul said, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ that lives in me. And those aren't just words. For the Christian, that's the truth. That's what happens. You're a new person, a new creation. The old person's gone. So you can't just step back into your old life for two weeks, or even for two days or two hours, because it isn't there, it's gone. Nor can you take two weeks off from living God's way and go on a sinning spree. Because being a Christian is not just about what you do, it's about who you are. And you can't take two weeks off from who you are. Nor can you go against that Holy Spirit that's in you. He doesn't like sin. He's cleaned you up. The Lord's come into your life and cleaned you up. You can't just turn your back on Jesus like that and say, actually, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to, I'm going to live in the flesh again. You can mean the sin nature's gone, but you can go away from the Lord and live in the flesh. But why would you want to when Jesus is in you? He's changed your life and you've got the Holy Spirit in you. So that is why I can't do what you've asked. But let me tell you something, Mark. You may not know, but you can't do what you've suggested either. You can't live a, a Christian life for two weeks. And the reason is because you, you could go through the motions. You could go to church. You could open a Bible and read it, but you can't experience what it's like to be a Christian just for two weeks. Because to be a real Christian, you've got to respond to the Lord in your heart. You can't fake that. You have to repent of your sin and ask Jesus to come in your into your life and make you a new person. And once that happens, you're no longer the same. You're not the same person anymore. You're a born-again child of God. And you can't do that for two weeks because if it's your intention to go back to your life of sin, if that's the way you've approached it, your repentance can't possibly be genuine because if you're planning to go back to your life of sin in two weeks, and it's not, is it? Because repenting means a change of mind and a change of life. And therefore, if you're not sincere before God, you're not saved. And then you can't experience life as a Christian because you're not one. If you want to know what it's like to be a Christian, then you're going to have to come to God for real. And what that means is you're going to have to acknowledge your sin. And you're going to have to lay it down before him and realise that he died for you and put your faith in him. Now you, I have already actually lived the life you challenged me to experience. Like you say, when I was younger, yeah, of course, I, of course I did. I lived outside of Christ. I lived a life of sin. Maybe not the same interests, the same music and things that you're into, but I certainly have lived a life outside of Christ, and I know what it's like. And as a person who's lived both ways, I can tell you from experience that life with Jesus is better. But, so, I, as, as I said, I can't do this challenge but I want to leave you with that thought because you obviously are interested in a way in what it's like to be a Christian but the only way you're going to find out is to experience it for yourself.